out in Exodus, and God is getting ready to deliver his children, Israel, out of the land of Egypt. So these are the words that he spoke to them. He told Moses to tell the, all of his people, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of of their fathers a lamb for a house and then if that lamb was too big for them then they were going to call their neighbor to share the lamb and this lamb was to be without blemish well it was not jesus without blemish you see the old testament is a type and a shadow of jesus and in the new testament then we see this shadow revealed so this lamb was without blemish it was to be a male and they were to take this lamb from the other sheep and pin him up for four days and then when they killed the lamb they were going to take the blood from the lamb and they were going to strike it on the two sides of the door and over the upper part of the doorway you notice they didn't put it across the threshold because we're not supposed to trample the blood of the lamb and some people trample the blood of the lamb you know when we have been washed with the blood of the lamb when we have been forgiven and that blood has been applied to our lives lest lest do not go out and take advantage of the fact that we've been forgiven and go out and sin because then you're trampling the blood of the lamb right they shall eat the flesh in that night roast with fire an unleavened bread and with bitter herbs they shall eat it they shall eat the flesh of that lamb eat not of it raw nor sodden it all with water but roast with fire his head with the legs and with the pertinence thereof, which is the kidney and the heart and the liver. And you shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that what remains of it until the morning, then you're supposed to burn it with fire. This, this was a time of preparation. God was preparing his children to come out of Egypt. And this blood of the Lamb, which is a type and a shadow of our Lord and Savior, our Messiah, this was when the Passover was established. Amen? The Passover of the Lamb. You know, and when we look at Jesus, He is the flesh that came down from heaven, that He was given unto mankind. And He said, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life within you. So now let's look at the way, the preparation of this lamb. What did God tell them to do? You see, he said, eat of it, eat not of it raw. Well, you know what the uh, e Egyptians were doing? They ate raw flesh in honor of their god, Osiris. So he's telling them, you got to cook it. You can't eat of the lamb raw. And if you look at it, you know, the flesh represents our carnality and you know the bible is spiritually understood our flesh is not going to understand the word so the fire of the holy ghost is applied to the word and we eat the word we eat the word jesus was the word he came down from heaven he was with god the father when everything that was made was made he says and not sodden at all with water. Hey, don't water down the word. Let's believe what God's word says. Amen. He says, be ye holy for I am holy. Don't water it down. Say, well, God, I can get by with this. And it's okay. No, let's don't water the word down. Let's take that word as it says. And he says, roast it with fire. And we know that the fire of the Holy Ghost has to be applied to the word. For us to have the understanding of the word, it is spiritually understood. we got to have the fire of the Holy Ghost within us to give us understanding of what his word is saying. If we're hungering and thirsting and there's something that's missing in our lives, get into the word. Get into the word and eat that word. Now, he was preparing them to come out of the land of Egypt. Well, this is also a word for us as we come out of the world to live a godly life for him. 
then this is where we come out of that land of sin. Right, Brother Fernando? Amen. All right. And then it says, but roast with fire his head with his legs. Hey, we got to have the mind of the spirit. We got to have our, the spirit of our minds quickened and renewed. We got to put on the mind of Christ. So he says, eat that head. I don't know about you, but I mean, I grew up eating brains from little squirrels or the pig. You know, we, ha we had those brains. So he says, eat the head with his legs. What does that mean? The legs, you got to walk it out in your life. It's not going to do you any good if you just put it in there and forget about it. you got to walk out the word in your life. If God's word tells you that my grace is sufficient for you and you're having a problem that you are dealing with and you're struggling with and maybe it's involving a person in your life or it's a situation that you don't have any control over and he says my grace is sufficient. He said, you can say to that mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. Who will speak to that mountain and watch God work. You see, we walk it out in our lives. Last year, during the summer, a year ago, I faced that situation. I faced a mountain in my life where my name had been used fraudulently. And so I had a lot of little situations, and I'd wake up thinking about this mountain. What am I going to do with it? And that's where God made it real to me. I said, mountain, you are nothing but a molehill. You are nothing. You are gone in Jesus' name. So we have to take the word and know that it applies to us today. It's just as real and alive as when Jesus walked on the earth. And he said, and with the pertinence thereof, the heart, the liver, the kidneys. So what happens? When we receive that word, there is a spiritual change taking place within us. In other words, it's going to become no longer I who lives, but it is Christ who lives in me. So there's a change in our hearts. There's a change in our liver. And there's a change in all the inside of us, right? Because we are applying that word. And we have to have the spirit to be able to do this. He said, don't let anything remain until the morning. So that which remains until the morning, you're supposed to burn it with fire. This time of preparation in the lives of the children of Israel before they came out of Egypt was specifically ordered of God and he gave them specific instructions on how to do it. And we eat the whole lamb. We eat the whole word of God and allow that word to work within our lives. And thus shall you eat it with your loins girded well, what do we do? We have our loins gird about with the truth. Amen. And when we have our loins gird about with the truth, then we are ready to go and deliver the word. That word is bubbling up within us. That word is wanting to come out. And so we've got to use those legs and feet and go forth and deliver it. He said, have your shoes on your feet. So we're shod with the preparation of the gospel. We're ready to go and walk it out in our lives. We apply this word to our lives daily. If somebody wants to know what's going on in your life, they live around you. They're with you day after day, and they see where you are in the spiritual realm. And you know when the love of God the Father is so indwells us, and we have a loving and trusting relationship with God the Father, it is manifested in our love relationship with those around us, right? And your staff in your hand, the staff, the rod, this is a sign of authority. I truly believe that this is the hour, that we must walk in the authority that God has given to us. Amen? I mean, God's word says that you shall be healed. We don't say 
can you or will you, but we say, yes, Lord. It is time for us to speak to those situations that need to be defeated in our lives or in the lives of our loved ones and see God move using the authority that God has placed within man and woman, within husband and wife, within the preachers, within the ministry of the body of Christ. It's the body of Christ that's got to arise this day, this hour, putting on the whole armor of God and standing in this hour. We're seeing darkness creeping across the land. And what's going to sustain us in this time? We are not to lean on our own understanding. We've got to trust in the Lord with all of our hearts. He said that I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Do we believe God's word? Then we know that whatever is ahead, his word is yea and amen, and God will see that it comes forth in our lives. So it's time for us to walk in the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost and the word of God in our lives. So we are to eat the whole word. He told him to eat the whole lamb. Don't leave any of it. If you do, then you've got to burn it. Put the power of the Holy Spirit with it. So Jesus is the word. He is the bread of life. He is the light of the world. He is the door of the sheep. He is the good shepherd. He is leading us. Amen. He is resurrection and life. He is the way, truth, and life. He is the true vine, and we've been grafted into the vine. We don't take ourselves off. We allow the life of the Lord Jesus Christ to continually flow within us. And the Word is true. I mean, when we read the Word of God, it's truth. He, the Word is true. It is a mirror. I mean, you can see yourself in the Word of God. And usually what you see in the Word of God is something you've got to work on in your life. You got to address that issue. Maybe you're frustrated and maybe you are jealous or envious of something that somebody has. But the word of God is truth and it, it reveals it's a mirror. And we can see what our lives, where our lives need to be changed. It's a lamp to our feet. It's a light to our path. He said, I will lead you. I will guide you. I will direct you. He sent the Holy Spirit to do this in our lives. So the word of God is pure. It is tried. The word has been tried and it's been proven. It's true. It is right. The word of God creates. I mean, speak the word. See what God will do. Speak to that situation. It creates the answer to come forth. Amen. Amen creates it heals the word of god reveals it quickens our mortal bodies if this same spirit that raised up christ from the dead dwell in us i mean we shall be able to walk it out in our lives amen let the power of the holy ghost arise within you and be his vessel and also the word is eternal Heaven and earth can pass away, but oh, the word of God is eternal and everlasting. The word is a tower of strength. It is the way of truth. It is the way of God. It is the way of righteousness. It is the way of salvation, and it is the source of our strength. It is the source of our comfort. Amen. When we know that we've done all that we can do, then we give it to God. You know, Brother Fernando, I used to think I could solve those problems. <laughs> and I had to come to the realization that no, I'm not able to. But oh God, you can. Lord, you can bring my loved ones into the fold. 
Father, your, your word is yea and amen, and you are well able to answer this problem that is in my life. And for all of you who are listening by YouTube, I want you to know the Lord is your answer. He is there to reach out to you. He is your burden bearer. So reach up and let God lift up your hearts this day and walk in the power of the Holy Ghost.